hello everyone so today uh, i took a new lesson so it is chapter 27 flight control speech lesson number three so i think uh, this is the last lesson under pitch uh, series so uh, today i'm going to talk about uh, trimmable horizontal stabilizer ths components okay you can see this is the ths uh, like actuator and this is the th compartment so i'm going to uh, describe each component and uh, uh, like locations or something like this all right so um stick with television engineering and if you still not watch uh, my previous videos you can watch the previous videos uh regarding uh, other chapters so, and uh, in future i will upload more videos so stick with television engineering and if you still not subscribe television engineering youtube channel please subscribe and share with your friends uh, relatives and any other who like to learn about aircraft maintenance all right let's go to the lesson Right, so uh, the overview is uh, throughout these lessons, you can identify, locate, and describe the components of the trimmable horizontal stabilizer. Okay, so this is the trimmable horizontal stabilizer. You can see this kind of uh, overview picture. All right, so in this content, I'm going to teach you like THS actuator. And second, I'm going to describe about electronic control module inside the THS actuator. And third, uh, pitch trim actuator command position transducer monitor position transducer valve block and valve block filter hydraulic motors and pressure of brakes at the end pressure of brakes all right so let's go to the first one uh ths actuator okay you can see this is the ths actuator here's the ths stream screw okay this is the overall ths actuator here is like a sketch diagram so you can see its weight is around 48.3 kilograms okay all right so the Airbus THS or like trimmable horizontal stabilizer is a key feature on many Airbus planes like um, like A320, A330, A350 and uh, A380 also. Like uh, fixed stabilizers, the THS can be adjusted during flight to keep the aircraft balanced and stable, helping maintain the right angle of the nose. Okay, just remember. Uh, this uh, adjustability improves fuel efficiency and performance in different flight phases such as like takeoff, cruising and uh, landing, right? So controlled by the plane's flight control system, okay? So of, uh, often use uh, advanced fly-by-wire technology. The trimmable horizontal stabilizer ensures precise control and contributes to the aircraft safety and efficiency, showcasing Airbus cutting edge engineering all right okay so i just uh, read i just told you about the, the summary so you can stop this video and you can read this is a this is actually the summary what i said in before all right okay now next one electronic control module okay here is the electronic control module uh this is the activity electronic control module here okay you can see it's like a box all right so the electronic control so the electronic control module, uh, we call it as EZM, in the Airbus A320 streamable horizontal stabilizers is like the brain of the system. It helps the planes to stay balanced and stable during flight. It gets information from uh, sensors and use it to adjust the THS to keep the plane flying smoothly. This helps save fuel and makes the plane more efficient. If something goes wrong, the electronics control module ECM can still keep the plane safe by making sure it stays stable. So the ECM is like the captain making sure everything runs smoothly in the sky. All right. Okay, next one, pitch trim actuator. Here you can see the pitch trim actuator, like pitch trim electrical motor over there, right? All right, uh, pitch trim actuator. All right, uh, yeah. So uh, the pitch trim actuator in the tail horizontal stabilizer, sorry, uh, the, uh, the trimmable horizontal stabilizer of an Airbus T20 fam uh, aircraft helps the plane stay balanced while flying. It's like a little robot inside the tail that adjusts the angle of the tail wing to keep the plane level. So when pilot want to change how high or low the nose of the plane is, they use the control wheel or autopilot. Okay, so this sends signals to the pitch trim actuator, telling it to move the tail wing up 
or down. This action helps the plane maintain a steady pitch angle which is important for safe and smooth flight. The pitch rim actuator is built with special parts like a motor and gears, all working together to make sure it's moved correctly. It also designed with backup system in case something goes wrong, so the plane can still fly safely. So engineers test and check the pitch trim actuators regularly to make sure it's working well. Without it, controlling the plane's pitch would be much harder, so it's a crucial part of keeping the Airbus 320 flying smoothly through the sky, right? Okay, next one, command position transducer. Here is the, uh, you can see over there, command position transducer. Okay, see the command position transducer package. Okay, you can see rotary variable transducer. This is a rotary variable transducer. Okay, you can hear the uh, location, right? So the command, uh, the command position transducer in the trimmable horizontal stabilizer of Airbus A320 family airplane is like the eyes and ears that tell the plane brain where it is uh, the tail is, right? So it's important because it helps keep the plane flying level. So this little gadget sits inside the THS and its job is to sense and tell the flight control systems exactly where the stabilizer is position. When pilot adjusts the stabilizer to change the plane pitch, the transducer sends that movements and sends signals to the plane's computer. Right? So the computer then knows if the stabilizer needs to move up or down to keep the plane flying smoothly. It's like uh, constant conversions between the transducer and the plane's brain making sure everything stays balanced. Okay? So to make sure it works well, Engineers uh, regularly check and test the transducers, like without it, the plane wouldn't know how to keep itself level, which could make flying tricky. So in simple terms, the command position transducer is a crucial part of the G20's flight systems, helping the plane stays on course and make flying safer for everyone on board, right? Okay, now next one, we'll go for the monitor position transducer. Here you can see monitor position transducer. Here you can see monitor position transducer package. The real picture, right? Here is also a rotary variable transducer, right? All right. So the monitor position transducer, or else MPT, in the trimmable horizontal stabilizer of Airbus 320 family planes is like a watchful guardian, always keeping an eye on the position of the stabilizer. It works by using special sensors to track where the stabilizer is throughout the flight. This information is super important because it helps the plane computers ensure the aircraft stays balanced and flies smoothly. If there's any change in the stabilizer position, the monitor position transducer quickly sends a signal to the computer, which then makes adjustments to keep everything on track. This thing, uh, think of like, okay, think of about, think of the monitor position transducer as a safety net too, right? So it's act as a backup, making sure the plane knows exactly where its stabilizer is, right? Especially during crucial moments of the flight. To make sure it does its job well, engineers regularly check and test the monitor position transducers. Without it, the plane wouldn't be able to maintain its stability, which is essential for safe flight right next one is valve block okay okay let's see where is the valve block yeah here is the valve block okay right so uh yeah so the valve block is the trimmable horizontal uh like valve block in the trimmable horizontal stabilizer of the upper stage frame is there like a traffic control it's like a traffic controller for hydraulic fluid it helps to move parts of the stabilizer to keep the plane balanced Situated inside the THS, it is situated inside the THS, the valve block directs the flow of hydraulic fluids to different parts of the control the stabilizer. When pilot won't change the plane's pitch, the valve block receives signals and adjusts the fluid's flow accordingly. This job is crucial because it ensures the stabilizer moves smoothly and accurately, helping the plane maintain right pitch during flight. 
Engineers regularly check and maintain the valve blocks to make sure it works properly. It is fail. If it is fail, it could affect how well the plane stays balanced in the air, which is vital for safe flight. All right. The next one is valve block filter. All right. Valve block filter uh, access to the hybrid uh, hydraulic filters here. Here is the access. All right. So this is the no back big uh, no back device via indications. Okay. Right. Uh, this is THS activator. This is valve block filter over there. All right. The valve block filter is a trimmable horizontal stabilizer of Airbus A330 family planes act like a C, keeping the hydraulic uh, fluid clean and free from any bits that could mess up in the system. So it's located within the hydraulic system that controls the THS and works by filtering out any dirt or debris that might be floating around in the fluids. This prevents these particles from causing damage to important parts like valves and actuators regular maintenance also essentials to make sure that the valve black filter keeps doing its jobs properly like so engineers check and uh, clean and replace the filter regularly to prevent it from getting clogged so without valve block filter the hydraulic system could get dirty which might cause problems with the THS and affect how the plane flies so it's a crucial part of keeping the aircraft safe and working well all right so next one is hydraulic motors okay here is two hydraulic motors over there right you can see THS actuator here is the hydraulic motor actual picture so hydraulic motors in the trimmable horizontal stabilizer of Airbus A320 family planes are like power houses that helps move the stabilizer surface up and down when uh, pilots want to adjust the plane switch these motors kick into action using hydraulic power to make it happen they like muscles that responds to commands from the flight control system, ensuring the plane stays balanced during flight. Regular checks keep these motors in top shape. Without them, uh, controlling the stabilizer surface would be much harder. Okay, so affecting the plane ability to fly smoothly and safely. So they're crucial to keep the Airbus 320 family aircraft steady in the air. All right. So the last one is pressure of brakes. Okay, pressure of this. This is the valve block and the pressure of brakes over there. You can see hydraulic valve blocks and pressure of brakes. Here is the pressure of brakes. Here is the ball screw. All right. So in AB, uh, in the Airbus 320 family aircraft removable horizontal stabilizer, the pressure of brakes act as a safeguard. Right? It acts as a safeguard. These brakes ensure that if there is a loss of hydraulic pressure or the flight control system is inactive. The stabilizer stays yet so think of them as a safety net when hydraulic pressure drops of the system isn't giving commands the brakes automatically kick in they stop the stabilizer from moving unexpectedly which could affect how the plane flies so regular checks are essential to make sure these brakes work properly engineers need to ensure they engage when needed so the plane stays safe even in emergencies so in simple terms, pressure of brakes are like emergency brakes for stabilizer, ensuring the Airbus A320 family aircraft can fly safely even in challenging situations. Right? Okay. Yeah, that is the end of this lesson. Uh, thank you for participating in this lesson. So the next lesson I'm going to t uh, talk about the normal operation, roll control normal operation under uh, the roll and jaw playlist. So I will have a new playlist uh, from uh, next uh, next one, roll and jaw playlist. So under roll and jaw playlist, the number one lesson is roll control normal operation. All right. So again, thank you for participating in these lessons. If you like this video, please like and share these videos with your friends relatives and if you still not subscribe k vision engineering please subscribe k vision engineering youtube channel because this is the only channel you can learn aircraft maintenance in detail all right okay so again thank you very much so we will see you soon have a good day for all of you